week six, big Thursday night football game tonight on Fox. Brady and the Bucks, Jalen Hurts and the Birds each Thursday morning before the week starts. Broussard takes a deep dive on which guys need to step up the most. All right, Broussard, tell us which five players are under the most duress entering week six. All right, Nick, first of all, let me apologize, but I am led by facts, not feelings. So number five, oh. Patrick Mahomes. Yes, the Chiefs are two and three oh, at, least you got his at name the right. bottom of the AFC West. Yes, Pat Mahomes, Patrick Mahomes, I, I'll keep it that way, Thank has you. thrown six interceptions already, equaling his total from all of last year. But the reason Mahomes is on the UD list is not because of his own play, which has still been very good. It is because of that historically bad defense. They're giving up 32.6 points a game, Nick. They're the worst defense in the league, and that is the third most wow. points per game allowed in the Super Bowl era of any team since then. And of the 19 teams in this era who have allowed 30 or more points a game, none of them have made the playoffs. Now, none of them have Pat Mahomes, all right? And that is the good news for the Chiefs. But the bad news is that Mahomes has to be perfect or darn near perfect every possession, every game. And that, my friend, is pressure. That is why Pat Mahomes is under duress. He can't afford to make mistakes with that poor defense. All right, at number four, A.J. Brown, the wide receiver for the Tennessee Titans. Yes, the wide receiver on the under duress list. A.J. Brown's coming off a Pro Bowl season last year. He was great. All right, and they expected big things from him this year, especially when they added Julio Jones and defense wouldn't be able to focus on him. But he hasn't delivered. All right, he did miss one game with a hamstring. But in the four that he's played, he's got 10 catches for 130 yards and just one touchdown. And that is part of the reason that their passing game in Tennessee is so bad and the offense has been become entirely one-dimensional based around Derrick Henry. Now, Henry can handle it. He's averaging a league-high 128 yards a game, but he's only averaging four and a half yards per carry, and that is his lowest in four years. All right, so is it starting to wear on the best running back in the league? They need A.J. Brown to pick it up and get some more catches, make some more explosive plays. He knows it, too. He's admitted it, especially if you, Julio Jones may be out this week with a hamstring injury himself. At number three... Our man Derek Carr. It should be obvious. The Las Vegas Raiders are in the midst of turmoil. And now Derek Carr is the leader. John Gruden was the leader of that team, no doubt about it. Now it's Derek Carr. I get it. GM Mike Mayock now has the most you know, power in terms of personnel decisions, and they got a new head coach and all that. The leader of that team is now Derek Carr. And he has got to step up and bring stability and bring leadership and bring confidence into that locker room so that they can go out and continue their fight for a playoff spark. And he also has to do it on the field because they were 3-0 and and he was looking like an MVP candidate, averaging 400 yards a game. He's fallen off the last two weeks, averaging about 200 yards a game with two touchdowns and two interceptions. So Derek Carr is under duress this weekend. All right, we also got Odell Beckham Jr. That's Ooh. right, another wide receiver on the list. On paper, OBJ is just what the doctor ordered in Cleveland. A, a playmaker, a deep threat to go along with that play-action game because of their strong running game. He'd be great in play-action there, but it just hasn't materialized. Whether it's the injuries, whether it's connection with Baker Mayfield, it is not happening last week. He has two catches. He drops a fourth down pass inside the opponent's 20-yard line that really proved to be yep. big in their loss to the Chargers. So OBJ has to step it up. People are talking about they should trade him, including our own Nick Wright, who loves OBJ, saying they need to trade him. But what is his value? How much is somebody giving up? He hasn't had a 100-yard receiving game in two calendar years. All right, so OBJ needs to step it up. And he and Baker need to get on the same page because they can be special, or at least he can show that he can be special so he can get moved elsewhere. All right, at number one, 
on the under the rest list this week, Tua Tunga Viola. Yes, he's coming back from the fractured ribs that kept him out for three weeks, and the Dolphins lost all three games. Now, they had designs on the playoff spot, and a lot of people thought they'd make the playoffs, but they're one in four. So Tua has to come to the rescue. All right, Jacoby Brissett did the best he could, but it wasn't good enough. The question is, is Tua good enough? All right, it, the, the little bit of time that he's played, he's had a 19.2 QBR. He's completed 54% of his passes. He's thrown for 215 yards. The great quarterbacks do that sometimes in a half. He's got, what, one touchdown, I think, and one pick, something like that. All right, so he's got to show that he can go out here and lead them to victory. And you might say, well, in his first game back, yeah. When it's Jacksonville, yes. Jacksonville's on a 20-game losing streak. If he goes out there and loses to Jacksonville, okay. you think the Deshaun Watson okay. rumors are already piping hot. Okay. They will be boiling, yeah. steaming hot if Tua doesn't deliver it. And that, Jenna, is the under the rest list. No. All right, Love listen, it. last week I said it was a perfect uh, list, so I'm class, not afraid to Nick. give flowers Cheers. when you deserve them. He, uh, he's but right when this it. show started, right when it started, I was doing a list of the 10 best players in the NBA, and what showed up on the screen for some reason was the six teams with the best record in the NFL. Just an error by our graphics department. Somehow this list is worse than that one. This is the worst list I've ever seen in any format in the history of sports television. Not only because you're wrong, but because you, you like everyone is related to who should be on there. For Patrick Mahomes, you put him on there and you spend all your time talking about the defense. Hey, Chris, it's your list. You could put defensive players on there. A.J. Brown, you put on there. Ooh. When all the issues with Which the Titans one? are about their defense. Put Frank Clark on there, put Honey Badger on there, put Chris Jones on there, whomever you want. Titans, it's all defense. Derek Carr, again, you have the, you have like the family right. You know who's under duress? It's not Derek Carr. It's his literal family after he came out and said yesterday, listen, I have family members who have sent emails like that. If I'm David, I'm like, oh boy, stop that. Like, let's focus on football, buddy. And then you have Odell. Odell's not the one under duress. It's Baker. Baker's my guy, but Baker's the one that is having the screws put to him. Baker's the one who has questions about his contract. Yeah, that's the one edit we're actually going to do because the, otherwise the whole thing would just be redacted, one giant bar across the screen. And Tua, <laughs> the Dolphins have won one game this year. It's the game Tua started and finished. Since he's been gone, they've been terrible. The idea is like, oh, some guys put up Tua's year-long numbers in a game. Yeah, because that's what he's played, buddy. He played one game and then got hurt immediately in the start of game two. I, I, I don't even. I, we're, we're, I know you're a, you know, you, you're a very, you're, you're, you have the highest morals of anyone on the show by far. You're a great man, and you're not a degenerate. But were you drunk last night? What is happening? <laughs> this is really, really bad, Broussard. It's bad and it's a little embarrassing for the show. And to Nick, Jack. That was bad. cute. That was cute. And, and maybe it is time for me to take Wild's advice <laughs> of more honey, less vinegar when I t go yeah. in on your tears. Because that's what this is all about. This is clearly no, a response to me week in, week out, ripping your tears. If I could find a photo of all 11 defensive players for the Chiefs, maybe I'd put the whole team on theirs under duress. But I, I couldn't. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't single out one guy because all 11 of them are playing poorly. Except maybe the Honey Badger. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Tua, definitely mm -hmm. on the list. OBJ, what? Come on, Nick. You know I was right. That list is right on the money. I think Wilds, if, if you, I get it. You're upset. It's personal. The tears. The Jenga game, whatever you want to call it now. No. Wilds, you Correct. can give me my flowers. The Jenga game. You can give me my flowers. Uh, 100%. 100%. And just to your defense, Broussard, uh, the Honey Badger has thrown zero interceptions this year. He is not, the Honey Badger's playing well. Don't start, you know, Mahomes deserves to be on this list. And I'm going <laughs> to piggyback on this. Little blast from the past. You know, last year... We talked like, oh, you know who's good? The Washington football team's defense. Look at these numbers. You look at the numbers and say, wow. 
but there was a little bird on everybody's shoulder saying, hey, it's just because the teams that they're playing are horrible. It's just because Dak's not playing. If they played good quarterbacks, they would get eaten up. And unfortunately, that little bird was true. Let's look at the defense last year to this year. Points way up. Uh, Reich way up, obviously, yards per game way up. And now they're 31st, That's the, they're, the, they're the second to worst defense. And here's the issue. You're, next, you're playing the big three quarterbacks in your next four weeks. You got Mahomes this week. Then I think you got Aaron Rodgers. Then you got Teddy Bridgewater. And then you got the GOAT. So you're going to be tested in a major way. But there is a silver lining. There is such thing, Broussard, as the Mahomes bump. You can make, a, and this is why the Chiefs are struggling, because everyone gets up for the Chiefs. You beat Mahomes, you get your quarterback, ooh, maybe Josh Allen's the MVP. Maybe the torch has been passed. Mahomes didn't even have it that long. Brady gave it to him for like half a second, took it back, and now Josh Allen might take it. So look, if the Washington defense can step up and beat a, 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 a Chiefs team that is lacking confidence, we can get them off the list. But right now, Washington football team needs to be on the list. Well, they're not bad, Wiles. And, and the thing is, and this goes for Baker Mayfield, too, for, for Nick's suggestion. They were on the list last week, Baker and Chase Young. And, and I try to be fair. There's so many guys that are under duress that I try to switch it up. I know Mahomes has now no, been on twice. Their car has now been on twice. But I, I, I want to 